Good morning, guys. I'm in Japan, and it is time to get out of bed and get ready because I have a long day ahead. And I'm gonna be filming a get ready with me for you guys. So stay tuned as I freshen up, do my makeup, pick my outfits, and uh, take you along with me on this fun little journey. So first things first, I decide to always pick up my outfit before I go in for a shower or start getting ready. My cupboard, well, lack of it actually, was pretty messy in Japan. Things were everywhere, but I did manage to pick out an outfit. I basically decided to wear this really cute Vera Moda maxi dress. Um, it's a striped number. It's really pretty, really cute. It's sort of like trench coat style. Uh, very like perfect for the kind of day I was about to spend in Japan. Then it was time to go into the shower but before I go in to actually take a bath I always tie up my hair and do a little bit of my face care regime. Now you guys know that I don't use face washes often when I'm back home and in India but because my makeup removal and unready system is a little bit of a shortcut when I'm traveling I make it a point to wash my face regularly when I'm traveling. The skincare products you're going to see me use in today's video are all going to be from Global Beauty Secrets. They've come on board very kindly as the sponsor for this video. So I'm going to be using the Global Beauty Secrets Azuki Bean Japanese Face Wash. How apt is that? This face wash has a really nice semi-runny texture as you can see. It foams up really really well and at the same time one thing that I'm very very particular about when picking face washes because you know I'm very skeptical, skeptical sorry, of the face washes I use is that I don't want them to strip my face of the moisture. So one of the things I look for when I'm going to use a face wash on a regular basis while traveling is that I use a product that is going to clean my face but at the same time not strip the top layer off, not strip the moisture, the moisture, the hydration off. I'm really really particular about this. The ingredients in the formula of this particular face wash are such that it's really gentle on your skin but does a damn good job of just cleaning everything out. You will see me taking my makeup off and getting unready towards the end of the video also. So you will notice that because I sort of cheat my unready system while travelling, my uh, cleansing, my face wash is something that I absolutely do while travelling to make sure that my skin stays clean and hygienic. Now let me know if you're like me because when I'm traveling and I'm staying in hotels I never land up traveling with a dental kit so I always bank on the hotel to have like a dental kit and a towel um, or the airline for that matter sometimes also but of course if I'm staying at like a relative's house I'll make sure I carry my own things and I am brushing my teeth before I go in for the shower this has to be the first time I'm showing myself brushing my teeth to you guys on camera to shower with I have the Japanese soap in the Azuki bean theme perfectly in theme with being in Japan and also from the Global Beauty Secrets. Their stuff is really really nice and they basically uh, source ingredients from all over the world. So you will find products from different countries that are sourced and made that is really really perfect for any skincare beauty junkie. Make sure you check their collection out. The Turkish Day Cream also from the Global Beauty Secrets which is a really nice watermelon and argan ingredient finish is what I'm using on my face to prep my skin up before I go ahead with the makeup. For my makeup look, I wanted to go for something that was nice and simple but had just a little bit of glam. You guys know my signature style, I like that inner corner pop but I like for my face to look as natural, uh, like my skin but better kind of a vibe. I tied my hair up halfway through because I realized the hair was getting all over my face. I actually really needed to wash my hair but I was running short of time so I didn't do that. I just used some dry shampoo inside my hair. I won't be sitting and mentioning all the makeup um, steps and makeup products and all here in the video. I will however mention them in the info box so make sure you guys check out the info box to know exactly what foundation lipstick concealer I've used in this video but you guys can go ahead and take a look at the makeup tutorial as is at the moment before we come back for a little more later in this video
guys i'm back to my room after this amazing but tiring day time to take my makeup off the glam maybe mask actually now yeah and maybe we'll catch up in a couple of seconds after just to say bye and some of what this day has been like so first off i think i've already mentioned this to you guys earlier on in this video but i really really minimize my unready steps when i'm traveling you guys have seen my extremely detailed videos they usually eat to 10 steps but while traveling i genuinely just don't get the time uh, to be able to do that much and frankly i'm also just really really tired by the time i get back to my hotel so what i'm using is a cleansing oil and i just like to use that about two or three times a few pumps on my hand that will just take off most of my makeup now you don't normally see me using wipes on the regular but you will see me using wipes today because i feel like that does the ultimate finish over the cleansing oil to make sure my skin can be as squeaky clean as possible then with the global beauty secrets greek face mask i'm going ahead and applying a really nice thin layer of it on my face with the help of which my face will just be rejuvenated will feel fresh this is a charcoal ingredient product like the main ingredient is charcoal so for those of you who have normal to oily skin this is really really great for me i feel like considering i have normal to dry skin i take a little less i make the layer slightly thinner on my face it's not that dry skin people can't use this you totally can but don't overload on the product because otherwise your moisture will get stripped so what i like to do is use charcoal products on my face use charcoal masks like this greek one that i'm using from gbs from global beauty secrets but i make it a point to always follow it up with a really good serum or moisturizer i never like to go to bed with nothing on my face so i feel like that's something you guys can totally take away from my routine About 15-20 minutes later, your face is ready to be rinsed. It's ready to be washed. You can just use a wet wipe to wipe it off if you want. I prefer water because I feel like it adds to the uh, just the nice texture and the hydration and the moisturization that your skin might need at the end of this mask. I'm looking really clumsy on camera doing this because I was so conscious about looking all messy on camera. But you guys know how to do this off camera, so I'm not going to stress on how to wash your face. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this get ready with me, get unready with me with glimpses of today's uh, entire day. Of course, there will be a detailed vlog from today coming up really soon. If you want to get your hands on the Global Beauty Secrets products that I have used, go over and click the link down below in the description in the info box. They also have a 30% offer going on right now, the coupon code for which I have shared with you and I'm sharing once again over here. Go ahead and check the collection out. I will also be sure to add in their social media down below in the info box. And thank you once again, Global Beauty Secrets, for coming forward and sponsoring this video. I love you guys very, very much. I hope that you guys have subscribed to the channel by now. Hit that bell button on by now. Keep coming back for more videos. I'm being as regular as possible on YouTube. And I'm also very, very regular on Instagram. So make sure you follow me there as well. Loads of giveaways happening on Instagram. Loads of giveaways coming up on YouTube too. See you guys in the next one. Bye.